Yes, it's me. I'm back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And this is a video particularly for Alfred the Butler. And whoever comes and sees it, you're more than welcome. But this is really something that I consider fodder because I really don't like doing these types of videos for the simple fact that I don't have the appropriate uh, video capture card. I don't have the appropriate rig setup to do things in high quality. But I do like the opportunity to be able to show things in real time, right? As I intend to do here now with the video, to uh, with that raw and cut, you know, raw and uncut type of feeling, without no editing, without no shame, because that's a lot of the times that's the best way to convey a messaging, right? Alfred the Butler, you don't know me from a drop here and a dime, right? But you made sure you came in my video to put your two cents and tell me as if I'm a person that is irresponsible, that is trying to, you know, uh, give out a messaging of a fake uh, magnitude or, or false, you know, messaging. When that has never been my, my a way of doing things on my channel and anybody that's been following all this time that knows me knows that I don't do that okay you tell me do my research when really and when you do your research online it is not something that is reliable because there's too many different outlets that are just done by certain types of people and can be touched by certain type of people and anything can be put on there unless you really have the experience from yourself hands-on or because you are a person of that's tech savvy, right? So to speak, right? Now, you keep telling me you're tech savvy because you think that you play on a PC and know how to build a PC by its parts that you know the way that obviously programming works, uh, you know, uh, programming tools, techniques, and things of that nature. When I try to tell you and explain to you very clearly, that's not how it works. You also try to bring up the Digital Foundry crap, where Digital Foundry is an affiliate of Eurogamer, which is funded by Sony and was created by. Uh, you know, uh, by them. They always try to give you good information for certain things when it's in favor of Sony or Nintendo. When it comes to other things like Xbox, they don't always put and paint out the clearer and bigger picture. Now, I told you very clearly that I've been doing this for years, okay? I've been doing the technology things, the size of things for many, many years now. I graduated from technical school. I have a network administration degree as well and a technician's degree. So I know a lot of insight on how to create technology and how certain things work. Like I built the radio from scratch, for example. I know how TVs work and, and how the pieces work and all the parts in them and what they do. And, you know, not that I have to because this is none of your business or anyone else's, but to... Just to show you, I'm going to show you some proof here. This is my name and obviously my certificate and diploma for when I graduated. It has the seal of authentication there. And, you know, you guys can believe it or not. That's to show you that, you know, and this was given to me when I graduated in 1997. Which I also have been ever since. Go back to the books to read on anything new. Here's my second certification to show you from Paramus, New Jersey. As you see there, 1997, same thing. Okay? Now, through the years, every six months, I always go back and try to refresh myself every time with the newest stuff and keep up to date with the newest of things and technology. Always been that way because I love the way electronic works, technology works, all types of stuff. Electronic related is Something I love and something I love and adore and it's close to my heart. Now, I only showed you that because I'm not trying to brag about the situation in case you try to change that and try to act like a jerk and <clears throat> skew what I said in the, in the, in the, down in the comments. I showed you that because I don't want people to say that I like to throw that around, that I've been doing this for a long time and that I have certifications in this field, but yet <clears throat> never show proof. I like to speak for proof. I'm a man of dignity and integrity. I've always done this and I've always been this way. I'm never going to change. So, what I'm going to do right away is 
I'm going to put your theory of what you tried to tell me about the Xbox One OG original console not being an HD console, not doing 1080i, and not doing 720p, that it wasn't able, that it was an upscale, right? I'm going to put your theory right to the test, right to the burner, right from the jump, because the best way to get the point across and show and prove something is by doing it in person and right away, immediately, go straight to the jugular. So, I have three games in front of me. I have Enter the Matrix, The Warriors, and I have Psychonauts. We'll start off with Psychonauts. Psychonauts, as you're going to see here, this game here, the resolution that it owned, that it supported was 480p, right? You see Double Fine Studios there? It's 480p. Open up the game, take it out. I'm going to drop it in into the console. But before I drop it into the console, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right down here to the settings, and I'm going to change the settings on the console, okay? And also, keep in mind, if you're claiming that the TV as well, because this is an older LCD that does not have upscaling capabilities, that the panels do it, just in case you try to say it was the panel, you know, I can prove to you that it's not as well. So, that does the upscaling. So, I'm going to go to the video settings, which is the display, and you see here it's 480p, 720p, and 1080i. And it says 1080i, keep it in that resolution. Yes. What does it say? Does your HD TV support 1080i resolution? I'm going to put no <clears throat> for the moment, even though this TV does. And I'm going to go right here to 480p because this is what Psychonauts delivers natively, 480p. Wow, 480p? You see, it says no, no, and then it says yes right there. So we're going to put the Psychonauts game in to the actual disc import. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Put it into the port. And then we're going to close. I have to put this up a little bit forward because the console is behind. <clears throat> it's behind the TV and it wouldn't let the tray open correctly. And if I take a little too long, forgive me, you guys, but it's for all intents and purposes, right? So I'm going to skip this here. Start. Don't find. I don't even know if I'm able to skip this intro. Loading. Got to remember that these consoles back then took longer to load and there's the cycle knots right and I'm gonna press start right now and you see the imaging is still pretty nice in 480 so we gotta walk Rasputin to I believe over here where we can start the game press a to start again a new game and then yeah yeah okay so this is where we're gonna go right here to rest beauty we press a start a new game okay. see hopefully I can speak skip these cutscenes now the first thing I'm gonna show you is on that corner let's put up the volume On the corner there, you're going to see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press info right now. Nope, that's info. Never mind, that's info. That's info. Never mind. Info, info, info. Oh, see? And you see it says there in the info, it says 480p. I'll do it again. 480p. So the resolution is in 480p. Native. So what I'll do is, for the sake of the video, I'm going to pause it right here until the cutscene passes, and then I'll I'll play it again. Okay, I'm back. 
And for sake of argument, in case you think I changed resolution, again, I'll press the info. And there you have it right in front of you. The info is still the exact same thing right there, 480p. So, you know, I'll, I'll move up the camera real quick, show you how the image kind of looks, right? 480. You see that it's very jaggy, it's kind of blurry. Although you can see the details, obviously, and they're defined. You see there as well, and the muddiness on the ground, and the muddiness in the textures. You know, the jaggy lines, jaggular lines around here, the anti-aliasing, very poor implemented, right? You see there, very poorly implemented in here, right? So, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the game, I'm gonna stop it, I'm gonna change the settings, on the console to 1080p or rather 1080i and we're gonna see if the console is gonna upscale to a 1080i because it should tell you right on the screen once I press info if it's trying to run a 1080i image upscaled or if it's trying to do it natively either way it's gonna tell you if it's not it's gonna stay on if it's not here, if it's not, it's going to stay on 480p and it's not going to change because it's not upscaling. It's natively running in 480. So let's do that right now. I'm going to exit the game. I'm going to exit the game right now. Press yes. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to open up the console. The console tray really fast. Here, right in front of you. I'm going to change the setting in real time. We're going to have a video. And we're going to turn off 1080p. No. And we're just going to go straight to 1080i. We're going to change it to 1080i. So the console knows that it's only going to run games in 1080i. Now remember, if the console is upscaling it, then it's going to run it in 1080i whether it's 480p or not. It's not going to stay in 480p resolution. Just to prove that I changed it as well, we'll press info again. And it's still saying 1080i right there. So you see the menu doesn't change. But we put it in 480i. So now we're going to put the game on, once again, oh, turn it off, okay, put the game back on, close it, and we're going to see Quick, once again, since I turned it off, video. Fuck. Network. No, no, no. No network. Video settings. You see, it's still in 1080i. Okay. Game's gonna load. I'm gonna load now. I have to do it again. Now, again, if this console upscales games from 480i or p to a resolution of 1080i, then even though I changed it. And I change it internally on the console that's supposed to just read 1080i because it's upscaling. And you would not see that 480i still on that corner, which the game is still running 480i, even though I changed the settings to 1080i. Because again, the game the resolution. Of the game is 480p 
And that is all that is able. That is all that is able to run. It's only able to run 480i because the game, again, press info is 480i. Right there. Okay? So you're gonna be like, oh yeah, that's, that's just that game. Okay, so now I'm gonna put your theory back to the test. What we're gonna do is we're gonna exit again. And I'm gonna put the, your, your theory again back to the test. Now what we're gonna do is now we're gonna take cycle notes out once again. Taking out Psychonauts. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to do the Warriors. That's what we're going to do. If you look at the Warriors, it says right here that it supports 720p resolution. Okay? Because the game has a 720p native HD image. And we're going to put it in here right now on the tray. And we're going to go to settings and we're going to put it first on for it. We're going to take this off to the on completely. And we're going to go back to 480p and put it in 480p. To see what resolution the console runs it. Because the game supports 480. The game supports 480p and it supports 720p. So put it in. The game should load up really fast. And what are we gonna look at first? We're gonna go to info. And what does it say in the info? Right there in the info it says. 480p because I have the console only allowing you to run games in 480p image natively if it supports 480p. Okay, that's what I have it doing right now. So, again, info is the same 480p, and we'll go in the game, press start. Go in the game. Go in the game. <clears throat> Story. Existing profile. Alf. Coney. For Coney Island, New Blood, skip the cutscenes, right into the game, and what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to put up the brightness, because the game, I have it dark, custom, go to brightness, put it up to 50 so you guys can see a better image on the screen and then what I'll do is I'll bring over a boy over here and push the camera to the front so you guys can see right here how close in person See the imaging in his face, you see the imaging in his shirt, really blotchy, all this blotchy, all this really jagged, muddy, the fence, you can't really tell, it's really jaggy, muddy, the grass, all that stuff, right? Look at the jaggies on his legs right there, look, look at that right there, really, 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 really bad, right? Especially in his face, you can see all the textures are very muddy. 
on his face and very jaggy. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back in the game now. I'm going to exit it out. I'm going to exit out the game. And what we're going to do is, we're going to... I'm going to exit out the game. Quit. And go back to the menu screen. And change it to... 720 and see if the game runs 720 or if it stays at 480 or if it's just an upscale So like I was fucking saying now I'm gonna exit and Go back to settings and We're gonna change them to 720p because that's what it supports and take off the 480p and now we'll see if it will be hit natively I would see if we read it natively or if it's gonna read it on scale wise. As we already saw with Psychonauts, that even though I put the settings on the actual system itself in 1080p, it did not upscale. Did not bring it up. What do you see there? On the info. 720p. Because now the actual system itself is running the game in the resolution that the game supports natively. And right off the back, when you're looking at the menu, you can automatically see the clarity and the image quality with less jaggies and a more smooth look to the game. So, we're going to go in the game again. And load it up and look at some other stuff in the imaging to see how it's looking. Está estúpido tener el fucking teléfono con una con gente otra vez. Skip. And skip. And immediately, as soon as you go into the imaging, you can see right off the back, immediately, and stand right here, right where I was before, and bring it up close in person to you <clears throat> immediately you see definitions in his face are in a lot higher resolution the closing in his clothes is not muddled the jaggy lines are less defined the jaggy lines in the fence as well the muddiness in the textures are a lot less pronounced and you see there, there are a lot less jaggies. Over here, there are none. They are eliminated. As you can see there. On the floor, on the grass. You can tell it was drawn in. I can turn them around. And you look at, even at the back of his jacket. You can see that is much 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 more clear so it has nothing to do with the game not supporting it if the game's image resolution wasn't in real native 720p you wouldn't get a clearer clarity picture which you clearly do 
when you're playing it in this resolution. And again, I press the info button and it says right there 720p. So now we're going to do one more just for the sake of argument. We're going to do one more. I'm going to go right in here. Quit the game again. Yes. Now we are going to do going to do one last game which is here enter the matrix which I'm going to turn it around in front of you and show you guys what resolution says right there it says let me get 1080i support which means it supports all the resolutions plus 1080i natively and how are we going to do it I'm going to do that right now. First things first, we're going to change the setting again one last time. Boom. And we go here to video. I'm going to change this once again. I'm going to change the 720, turn it off. But no, we're going to start with 480, put it in yes. And look, yes, I'll put it in yes. Just because I did fast, you might say, oh no, you skipped that. I did not. Loading up. Hmm. I really wish you could actually do this on the fly, which would be fantastic. This method is so cumbersome and so tedious, it's almost annoying. So again, we're running the game in 480, as you can see, again, 480, 480p native resolution, because that's the way I put the console to run all the games at the moment. Like I proved with Psychonauts, if the game is put on 480, I mean on 1080p, on 1080i, even though it supports 480 and the console doesn't read it as a native resolution on the image, it will still show in 10 in 480p. And that also debunks your lot, your idea that, oh no, the game is running at a uh, upscaled uh, resolution. Because if it was upscaled, either way, it would upscale no matter what with the change and it's saying that it's only supporting a 480p resolution it would change on the screen because it's upscaling it the image in that resolution and as you see here oh, just a little darker just so you can have a better appreciation of the image as you can see there here it is in again 480p and you'll see as you go closer to the image right there you'll see that she has a lot of jagged lines here and there the details are not as smooth as you can see there and they look blurry and even 
when I go and walk towards the machine itself, you can see everything on the machine looks extremely blurry. You can't appreciate any of it. And you got this image of this cop next to you. Darius, come here real quick. Oh, he's over there trying to freehand this. Again, you see the image quality. And I walk over here. You'll see a lot of money. Floor. You see the muddy textures there, they look blur, kind of blurry, not soft. Same thing with over here. If you look up, you see that these they don't look really clear. Cop's face looks blurred out, and you'll see also here. You see this guy here, janitor. As you can see, it's a lot lower resolution. Pan out, and out, again, 480p. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get out, and I'm going to play the game in its 1080i native resolution. And we'll see if there's any differences. So we'll turn this off again in the video. Not audio, video. Video. 1080p. I mean 480p off. 1080i on. There we go. And now we'll boot up the game. Oh, I'm booting up the game. Not too, so too much. And back again. Now, what do you see in that corner? What does it say there? Ten eighty i right there. Now, if the game wasn't ten eighty i natively. It would have stayed in 420p the way that Psychonauts did. Because it's Psychonauts is 480i native resolution. Matrix is not. Matrix is 1080i native and it supports 720p and 480p. So now we'll go into the game. Do the same shenanigans again and get it on, boot it. And have it go on. Go through the steps again. This tedious process. Which I wish you could change it on the fly like you do with the new consoles. You don't have to go back and forth and turning it off. Take out the disc and none of that dumb dumb stuff. Immediately you see the clarity in the image. Immediately. Immediately. You see how clear everything is on her. On the jacket, there's less jaggies. It's a lot softer on the floor. 
you see this less jaggies I'll walk up here into to the sign right here and you see this you see the sign you can see city post visitors directory clear as day not 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 no bad image quality and you could look at the cop right there or the security guard his face and if I get closer to him you can see you can even see his badge you can see his badge nice and clear and and look and on the floor look you can see you can see on the floor doesn't look muddy the way it was before it's a lot smoother less jaggies everywhere you come to signs like this for example much more clearer as you can see right there the, the, the jaggies are away the details and the textures tend to melt much much better oh Jesus okay we go this way I can't even move because I'm trying to video record I'm doing this at the same time good help is hard to find when you, especially when people get pissed at you look you can see that clear see what it says there in the bottom look the word stamp how much clearer it is let me see what that gender is at where's that gender at where are you at I can't see him where's the gender at let's see if I see him oh I can't he's not there even on the on on the actual things here, the actual pillars, you see way less jaggies on the edges because it's in a higher resolution. You see the details on her jacket are a lot higher as well. You see a clear as day. You even see the glistening in the floor a lot better everything the image of the reflection so again like i said if this game and we're going to go to the info button the magic button it says 10 1080i at 68 it tells you the the, the the frame rates of the hertz okay that if this game was not native Okay, it would it would have just went back and scaled down to 480p, or you would have seen the results of Psychonauts being 480p would have upscaled if it was upscaling it to 1080i, forcing it with an image quality a lot better or clearer at 1080i than 480p, and you saw that it did not allow to do that because the Xbox OG Xbox, whether you want to accept the facts or not, was the first high definition console in the market it's what started the whole high def scene and movement i never said to you that all the games ran in high def but what i did say to you is that they had selected games that ran in native 480i not p but 480i because i and p just means interlace or progressively scan it's still the same resolution natively it's just it loses image quality in I when it's interlaced if something's moving in the screen at a fast pace. You'll lose the resolution. Or if it's in P, it says pro it progressively scans the image. So no matter how fast the image goes, it never loses the resolution. That is the difference. There's still native resolution. That is the only difference between P and I in case you're trying to run that bull crap. Oh, that I means fake. HD and P does, doesn't because I know the difference like I said I've been doing this for years this is nothing new to me and I don't speak to give out false information so I hope that you get this point and it comes across the best that I can and clearly to you okay and if it doesn't that's your choice but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the PS3 and I'm gonna show you some same results 
on the PS3 in case you had a new, because it's a newer console, in case, you know, the case that you were trying to say that Bayonetta wasn't able to run 1080p on the Xbox 360, which it did, because the 360 did do real full 1080p on the games. And certain cutscenes, unlike the PS3, it mainly did it on the cutscenes and not the actual games. But you can still upscale it to run it on the PS3. Unlike the Xbox 360, it was native 1080p. So, sit right there and I'll be right back. So real quick to add to this video to come to another conclusion, I'm on my PS3 as you can see here. And as you can see there, I put the resolution of 720p off the box, custom myself picking it to run the game in 720p. To see if the argument you were saying is, oh no, the, the game is uh, 720p and you put it in 1080p, it's just going to upscale it. If it'll run it, if there will be any differences in the image quality at all. So we'll do it on the 360 since you want to say that, it, I mean on the PS3 since you want to act like it's not possible. So I have here in front of me God of War Ascension, right? Because I'm, I'm not a real God of War fan, right? For some. Um, and God of War here, Ascension says right there. Right here, and it goes up to, and it so it goes up to ten, ten eighty i. So we have an seven twenty p right now. Let's put it to the test and see if it does make a difference in the image or if it doesn't. Disc, see that it is. Put it in. Oof. Oof. See where the game is there. Put this over here. Let's see if the game's there. So we'll auto focus right there. Boom. And now let's go and see if the game's there. Stop more extension. A manual. This turn off the flashlight and now we'll load up the game. And again, what does it say there? What does it say there in that corner? Seven. 720p. It says it right in that corner again. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh. Oh, American Studio. Give me people, this console takes forever to look for this system. Last game I played, 
I don't know if I'm in, I was at the ending. I gotta see. I don't remember. Jesus Christ, that fan is loud. Man, does this game take long to load. Holy crap. Come on. Any day. Let's go. As far as you can see there, this is the last part of the game. In which I'm playing. As you can see. I woke up. Zachary, come here real quick. You can see I messed up there. Details is there, but it's kind of blurs out as well. But again, to show you guys that the image info is in 720. There it is. I'll show it one more time. Again, like you see, in these areas. See here. Right. look at the game in its native 1080i as well. So I exited it some. You think you want truth? But truth will only bring you pain! You look at her and look at her. Okay, so now let's exit the game and put it in 1080i. <coughs> okay, do it in real time. Oh my. 
my god, it's beaver back. Jesus Christ. Okay. Stop using this, use the D-pad. Stop, stop doing that, you stupid fucker, this dumbass shit. Go to settings. Right there. Press it. HDMI. Go to customs. Now turn on the seven uh, the 1080i. Turn on 720p. Go for. Yes. Finish. Go down. Now we got an 1080i. Now we're gonna go back to the game and play it in this in this 1080i resolution. And you see right there it says it's reading in 1080i right there. But it's telling you that the image now is in 1080i. And you can tell by the clarity of the, of the lettering of the back already that it has a higher resolution. Again, this is to show the argument that you were stating that no, that in the three PS3 in the 360 era, games did not run in 1080p or 1080i resolution, and they were all in 720p, which is not the case. Because as you see, I turned off the 720p. So the game was only 720p, it would it would show you, and it would for, not be able to force it to run into 80i. Otherwise, it would stay in 720p. And it would change itself. And we're gonna see if the image quality is better or the same. see the image has a softer look to it and you see that the textures are more visible instead of being muddied out keep going keep walking softer and less jaggy you see on his body and on her face even her fingers the resolutions and textures that are low the resolutions and textures that are low stay low but everything that you see smoothens out because it's less jaggy it's running at a cleaner higher resolution Colors even stand out much better as well. 
she has Lex Jaggy on her armor. Attack her and you see. You can see the stat the sculpts and the statues a lot better. So again, like I said, if the image wasn't running in a 1080i resolution, like it says right there, the screen would not allow it to run. It would just say 720. Because it does not force it to run in a resolution that is not. And this game is both 720 and 1080i on PS3. God of War 3 was only 720. It wasn't even 1080i. And you could tell immediately could you try to run it on 1080i or P, the image looked worse than it did in the quality than when it did in 720p. So I'm going to leave you with this. I'm not going to go to this anymore and I'm not going to do no more videos. If you don't want to believe it, that's on you. I showed the proof here in real time. I know what I'm talking about because this is what I've been doing in my field for a very long time. Okay? Putting uh, games on machines, giving pixel count, doesn't always give you the indicative picture of what it is. Because a game could run 1080p from point to point on an image and still have imagery in the middle running at lower resolutions, which is called reconstructive... Uh, uh, Reconstructive, I forgot what it's called. The same technique that they use remedy with uh, quantum breaks. Yeah, right? The framing was really bad in this game. Yeah, I know. So, there you go. Alfred the Butler. You think of it what you want. I showed the proof. People that will see it will see the proof. That's all I have to say for now. And, like I said, keep it gaming, people, and have fun. Just don't question my integrity because I will not that allow to be put in a position where I look like I'm a liar. I don't speak with lies. Bye-bye.